Hello everyone, it's GCSE Revision here and we're continuing with the GCSE Business Studies course and as you would have seen in the last video we looked at the type of businesses and we're starting off with the first one which is a sole trader. Now first we'll look at the definition. This is one of the easiest definitions you'll come across in business and it's basically an individual who sets up his or her own business. So you have to stay there as an individual and he sets up or she sets up their own business. Now, an example of a sole trader, this is where some people get confused. Basically, a sole trader, someone who sets up their own business, normally starts off really small, which is all about unit, which is all, which unit one about, unit one is all about business. I've got tangled up my words there. So, someone who sets up their own business, think about a local business near you. It might be Mike's Glass Company, or, well, it wouldn't be a company, but Mike's Glass Business, or... Tom's Plumbing Agency or something like that, where they start off small and they set up their own business with a simple name. So here's a chart explaining all the pros and cons of being a sole trader. Now, some of these pros include being able to keep all profits. Since you are your own boss, you get to keep all the profits that are put into your business, so therefore you may not receive as many profits, but you at least keep 100% of them. Also, you make all of your own decisions. So, you being your own boss, you can decide working hours, which is another pro. Sort of directing the business in which direction you want to put it forth. And also, it's very quick and easy to set up, so there's not much paperwork, you don't have to sign any forms. You just start trading, and there you go. Now, some of the cons include the fact that you have unlimited liability. And now there's going to be a video covering what uh, unlimited and limited liability is. Unlimited liability is basically if you do get in, if you do become bankrupt and you're in debt, the business can take everything you own until you do pay off that debt. Also, higher workload, and it's harder to collect sources of finance that can give your business a lot more money to be able to invest in things and then, as a result, grow. So thank you for watching this video, this is going to be it for the sole trader and next up we'll be looking at partnerships which is the next part of the SPF sort of um, types of business that we'll come across. So thank you for listening, carry on watching these videos if you want to learn and revise more and yeah, go get those grades.